Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barel, and today I want to talk about uh, an important issue that's going on right now, and it's uh, you know it's starting to really make uh, waves uh, by Nintendo users. So apparently, Nyko right now reported uh, that uh, they're going to be getting sued by Nintendo's uh, customers. Um, uh, due to the fact that their switches are breaking. Now, like I told you guys, um, based on what I found on my investigation, the only switches that um, that happened to get bricked were the ones that are at, that were bought at launch date or close to launch date. That being said, I always say, still to be safe, just use a regular Nintendo dock. Uh, I tried everything to brick mine. I couldn't, so I know that it's not gonna happen. But you never know. I mean, you know, maybe I, I maybe it just wasn't my luck, or maybe something was operating right. I don't know. Uh, all I gotta say is the Nyko docks right now. They're not even being sold in my area. They took them off the shelf. And what I do know is, even if you look at Amazon, I uh, had a. Uh, uh, you know, brother from the channel over here uh, uh, that asked me to purchase it, and I wanted to purchase it and do a live uh, review. I had no idea it was fifty bucks. I mean, I'm not going to waste my money on that crap. But uh, uh, you know, based on what I tested before and my friends, and I wish he still had it. He obviously tossed it because it bricked his system. But um, you know, I, which I don't think he should have done. I think he should have probably approached. Uh, Nyko, apparently they were giving replacements of the Switch too, but even though Nintendo was doing it anyway, which is pretty awesome of Nintendo to do that, but, uh, you know, it is them who screwed up also, so, um, the thing is, uh, that, uh, you know, those Nyko docks can't even be delivered here in New York. I was trying to get it, and it says, will not deliver to where you are, and, uh, no matter what I looked, and it kept saying that over and over again, uh, the issue is, is Nyko recognizes that Nintendo is not really as what they advertised it to be in terms of being a uh, USB-C compliant to, you know, all USB-Cs, the way they made it seem in opening day, oh, you could just hook up anything into it. Uh, now, yes, a lot of the fanboys are going to say, well, you got to be, and some of the technic, uh, technical savvies, of course, we all know that, that it needs to be with a resistor. We obviously understand that, but not the majority of people, for example, kids or even grown-ups that have no t uh, technol uh, technology, uh, you know, know-how, uh, text know-how, which is like the majority. I mean, not everybody could do these things. Uh, they listened to what Nintendo said, and apparently everybody, even in the Nintendo store, were saying, oh, you can use even your Samsung, you know, charger device, which I showed you guys. This is the Samsung charging device uh, because I use it for my phone, and I showed you guys that it has this thing right here, which already means it's invalid and can't be used. You see that crack right there? It has to be solid like this all the way around, as I told you guys in my other video. Be sure to check that out. Uh, but the thing is, you know, Nyko is being sued. Now, will they win? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry to say this, but I don't see a case here. I mean, all Nyko really has to do is say we had no issues till Nintendo released an update. Uh, you know, the 5.0 update, and then everything started breaking. I mean, because in reality, there was absolutely no issues. And in fact, if you look at the forums, the, uh, the ones that even are at launch date, even had their systems bricked by the regular Nintendo dock. So, I mean, is it really the Nyko that's causing it, or is it just a faulty system with Nintendo? That's something that we have to look at right here. But either way, the majority of people that reported bricks wasn't obviously, you know, uh, getting it bricked by uh, the Nintendo dock, even though it has happened. Uh, especially when Nintendo first came out with the Switches, a lot of people had blinking, a lot of people had glitches where it gets stuck. Uh, some of those were addressed in firmware, and obviously others were, it was a hardware issue, in which they had to send it back and get their money back, which is ridiculous. So, I have a feeling that well, Nintendo released, like I said in my other video, uh, in launch date, uh, the revi you know, the, the first chip uh, was extremely flawed, and then obviously the second revision already came out, which was after... Uh, you know, uh, you know, not anywhere near uh, during the Mario Odyssey days, uh, you know, uh, Odyssey when it was released or even a little bit before that. But they released the revision two, and really now it's really going to be called the revision two, even though it's revision three. But uh, that's what I have to say about that. So my advice to people is don't use the Nyko. I mean, it do I don't think it'll, it'll hit you if you have a newer Nintendo Switch, but I wouldn't do it anyway. Uh, but Nyko is being sued by the Nintendo uh, 
uh, Switch owners. And I think the Nintendo Switch owners have a right to do that because obviously it did break and they're looking for answers. But the truth of the matter is it's not Nyko and Nyko is going to win this case easy just by saying we had no issues. There was absolutely no issue till Nintendo released the 5.0. And now also Nyko did replace, uh, according to forums that I was watching did replace Nintendo Switches for some odd reason, but they were replacing it. Or they paid refund money for it. Uh, that being said, Nintendo also is giving um, that. So I don't think a person... I don't think you should be suing uh, Nyko because A, you're not going to win most likely because they do have a case if all they have to say is that. And two, uh, as a person who understands law very, very much, as I, I know I have uh, a lot of lawyers in my family, I can tell you that straight off the bat, uh, there is absolutely no case in this because they could just straight up tell Nintendo and Nintendo will be like, well, just bring it back and we'll just refund you. And uh, if they can actually prove it, if Nyko will go into the tech of it, they can obviously show what's really going on with the chip and compare it and show that the chips are different or something like that uh, and show that the later models are not doing this because it, uh, based on my investigation, none of the later models got bricked, period. I mean, you could look around. There's none that got bricked, period, even with the Nyko stand. So even though I still don't recommend people use that, but that's that's what I'm saying. So if, they, if there is no issue there, they're going to obviously point to that and say, how come it's not happening there? Obviously, it's the Nintendo flaw. You know, speak to Nintendo and you lose it. You lose money, you lose time. And the average lawsuit takes about three years, especially with a company like Nyko. You never know who they have. They might have a billion lawyers. They might have shady lawyers. Who the heck knows? But the point is, they're at the right here. Uh, and I hate representing companies, period, because I know all of them are responsible for shady crap. But in reality, Nintendo did market it in the beginning. And when you looked at it, you could ask anyone. They were marketing it as a universal type of thing. That it's USB compatible, USB-C compatible with everything. You know, you, They even said you could use the Samsung uh, charger on your phone. You could use it with that. So, I mean, when you think, and the extend, uh, battery extenders. So, when you get these things into it, I mean, Nintendo reported it, and then obviously you put in also on top of that the research, uh, for instance, that I had, and I'm sure they they probably knew ahead of time, is where the only the switches that got infected uh, were the ones from launch date or close to launch date. Uh, they're going to know that that is the issue, and they're going to go right into that and just say, well, case dismissed, it's Nintendo's fault. Go speak to Nintendo, and Nintendo will be like, hey, guys, you know, well, they're not going to admit we screwed up, but they're going to be like, well, it's a faulty machine, just send it over, we'll give you a new one. And uh, obviously, you guys lost a lot of saves, and I know so many people that are so pissed off, especially on forums, you could read this, that they, compl that they got the new one and sold it on eBay, and uh, don't want to have anything to do with the Nintendo Switch anymore, which is pretty sad because I'm going to tell you the Nintendo Switch is an incredible system. It's just the the always the first ones are the ones to get hit. I used to be that one that gets the the first system always or the first te uh, technology out there always. I always used to be that kind of guy, and I'm going to tell you. Always there were problems with it, even with the Black Magic cinema camera, the Black Magic production camera. I was the first one to own these cameras, and when you get these cameras, you suddenly see uh, noise uh, problems, all kinds of issues with the sound, with the picture, with everything. And then they say, just send it back, and they give you refurbished garbage back, uh, which is awful. Okay, and, and and you know when you paid for a brand new item, you're getting something refurbished in return. It, it's bullshit, and and this is exactly what what happens. This is why I always recommend. Think of it as like an operating system. When Windows 10 came out, or Windows 7 even, or Windows uh, 8, or freaking uh, what? Even when um, what was it? Windows XP came out. I remember when I was beta testing it. I would never use that as my main operating system. Not till at least a year. I would want to see them working out all the garbage, and also things would lower down in price, hopefully, but also all of the crap would be worked out, and then eventually you get the best product, and that's what I recommend people do, is not jump on a new system the second it comes out, because odds are there are going to be issues. If you guys remember the Xbox 360, uh, you guys remember that. The Xbox 360, you had to do pennies, because it would uh, be the, the, the ring of death, if you guys remember that. I own that. My brother owned that, and we both got screwed, and we had to do that penny trick to put it in and to make it work while everybody else had new Xboxes, paid the same amount of money, and guess what? Had no issues. Again, this is why I say this. 
It's not worth it to get the technology that's new out there right away because you are the beta tester. That's the way you got to look at it. You are the guinea pigs and the market is going to test it on you. Can you get, in this situation, can you get a re, uh, uh, replacement? Absolutely, you could get a replacement. But the problem is you lose all your saves and that becomes an issue. So if that's an issue to you, you should know this right away. Do not be in a hurry to buy these things because I'm telling you there's going to be issues. Right now, my Nintendo Switch is amazing. I love it. It's uh, it's the most, uh, you know, it's my companion out. I'm in the New York City. Every time I get back from work, I'm on the train playing that game. Right after I do some reading, I re play some games on it. I love it. It's it, it's definitely things. I'm lying down sometimes here. If I, if I don't feel like PC gaming, I play it. Sometimes I even play it in the John. I'm not even going to lie about that. But the thing is... Uh, I waited till the Mario Odyssey came out. Till Mario Odyssey, because I personally I wanted Mario, uh, you know, the Mario edition like I had with the uh, 3DS. So I lucked out on that one. But more and more, I realized that that is what you need to do. Don't go jumping on the first time these things come out because there are going to be a lot of issues. Now Nintendo is nice; they're saying, "Yo, send it back." Black Magic, on the other hand was a little bit iffy uh it took forever to get things back and then finally when you got the camera back and everything you felt great and some people even reported that they had even worse issues like for example i had the black magic video assist the first one and it came to me with dead pixels i sent it back to black magic it came only with one dead pixel it came back with three dead pixels <laughs> So, because they give you a refurbished garbage and they don't even bother doing quality control. And we all know Nintendo has very uh, zero quality control. They just don't have that. That's why games like, shitty games like WWE was released, completely broken. Even NBA Live in the beginning was broken, out of sync and everything, till they fixed it. WWE is still a mess. But that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. The, the quality control is at zero with Nintendo. Even though it's awesome, it's a great system, they need quality control and they got none. Okay, the only quality control they have is just send it back, we'll send you a new one. Okay, and everybody that happened to get a new one reported that it was a great one. So uh, unlike Blackmagic or other companies that send you garbage back, uh, Nintendo either sent you back the same thing, because I told you, I think it's something with the chip, it doesn't burn it, it just resets it, and they can unlock it. And some people got brand new ones. Okay, so array to Nintendo for that. But guys, Nintendo, if you're listening... Get some quality control on your on your system. I think right now they're starting to. I hope they are at least uh, because they're seeing the the problems. They're seeing the issue. They just they you have to understand they're walking on eggshells right now with third party developers and with investors. And you're not going to go and do a recall. If you do a recall, you, you know you're going to look like fools. It's not like Samsung, like they're billions and kajillion dollars uh, industry where they'll be forgiving that you know their their investors. Their investors are like. You know, after the Wii U, they're very, like, tipsy. You know, they don't know if they're going to do it or not. They have no idea. They think they're going to get into it. They're feeling, like, a little confused. But uh, that's what Nintendo is right now, is walking on eggshells trying to please everybody. Like 2K Games, when they obviously release garbage. And all of this other uh, other junk. And unfortunately, they need to, uh, they have to understand that the customer comes first. Because without the customers, there's no, you know, there's not going to be investors. Because nobody wants to buy a sinking ship. That's ridiculous. So always concentrate on your on your customers. And I think Nintendo is doing that right now. I really think that's why they're releasing the revision. Obviously, it's to protect their own butts with the hacking and all of that stuff. But this revision chip hopefully will not be, uh, you know, getting your uh, system bricked. And right now they actually made a public call out saying do not, you know, uh, do it. Get, uh, you know, a resistor, yada, 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 uh, USB-C. Look at my past video. I speak uh, in depth about that. But that's pretty much what it is. So to those guys that are suing Nyko, hooray to you. You're awesome people, and I, I, I feel you. Trust me, I feel you. I felt like suing PlayStation Vita when they went back. They didn't go bankrupt. They just abandoned the whole damn thing. Uh, and that was a, a case for a class action lawsuit. But the thing is, and I'm sure they'd win it anyway by coming out with some loophole. The thing is, they have an excuse. It's only launch date people. It's only people that are close to launch date. That's the majority. Second, this thing was working till the 5.0 update was released. So Nyko is not to be sued. Uh, they're just going to say that and they're going to uh, come out of that, you know, without a scratch. And you're going to be wasting time and money. It's not worth it. Just send it back to Nintendo. Nintendo will replace it. And uh, that's it. I mean, there's nothing you could do at this point about it. I, f I feel you. Trust me. I know what it is to buy a sinking ship. Believe me. I had the, the Dreamcast. When the Dreamcast went out, I was so pissed off. When I got the PlayStation Vita and I got it a little later, boom. 
after a while, it got, it got, it, you know, they abandoned it completely. Within the, all that was on it was independent games that I could find on my freaking cell phone. So believe me, I feel you on that. But I think you should contact Nintendo, get a refund right away. Uh, I mean, uh, exchange right away. And give Nintendo a chance. I mean, the system is awesome. They're just, you know, their quality controls is shit. But, uh, you know, just give them a chance. Get a new one back. I'm sure the new ones will not do that. But just don't use a Nyko dock anymore. Just to be safe, just use a regular Nintendo dock, docking station. I know a lot of you guys bought only the tablet only of the Nintendo. Or only, the, you know, only the Nintendo uh, of the Nintendo Switch. Or only the Nintendo Switch. And I know you guys don't want to shell out a freaking $100. And now, now they lowered it to 80 I would think Nintendo should lower it to 50 bucks or $60. Because that's ridiculous. This plastic I can make. I can build this shit on a 3D printer and put in anything. But the thing is, they're charging too much money. And they got to understand that right now, because of what they did. And cost people Nintendo Switches... If you want to, you know, their Nintendo Switch, it's good that they have a replacement, but I think they should lower their docks as a show of good faith to those who believed in them for the first time and shelled out that money who were the first to go out there and believe in their product and shell out that cash to give them a chance. They need to do something good for that community, for those, for those people, by saying, you know what, guys? Not only are we going to give you a replacement for the Switch, but we're going to give you a docking station. Okay, that docking station doesn't take shit. It doesn't take money to build, okay? I can build that shit on a 3D printer, and it'll take me literally pennies if I were making them in bulk. Okay? 50 cents at most. Uh, maybe even, let's say, $2. What is it going to be $2 for them to replace, to give you that in addition to a replacement of the Nintendo Switch? That's something to think about. That's all I got to say about this. Uh, but just wanted to let you guys know. So there is a lawsuit going on. Um, and that's about it. I just wanted to give my own, uh, you know, my own advice on this. Uh, and believe me, I feel you guys. And it, it, it sucks. It really sucks. It really does. Anyways, uh, as always, self-funded here, saying whatever needs to be said, and also reviewing tech with honest reviews. The only way I tell you guys to help me out is by liking the video, subscribing, and hitting that, smacking that bell button. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Uh, definitely stay tuned. I will be reviewing Donkey Kong Country uh, a Tropical Freeze for the Nintendo Switch at 12 o'clock Thursday because it's going to be Friday, obviously. So I have work the next day at 5, and I'm doing it for y'all. So please be on there so at least I'll tell myself it's worth it. Otherwise, I'll feel like I'm an idiot because I got 5 o'clock, and I got by the time I do the editing and everything, I'm going to be sleeping at like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. So at least it'll be worth it if I can, if it sucks and I save some people, or if it's good and I encourage people to buy this game uh, on the Nintendo Switch. And I'll do the comparison. I'll tell you what the comparisons are from what I can remember from the uh, Nintendo Wii U. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Definitely comment, subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the bell button. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.